afternoon baseball at Chase Field on a fine Sunday in the desert southwest. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the Boston Red Sox and the Arizona Diamondbacks. The Red Sox look to end this three-game interleague series with a sweep next. Luke Weaver gets the start for Arizona in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matt, five full innings for this guy in his last one. You couldn't really consider that a powerhouse outing. He was able to get a no decision, but I'm sure he and the team are looking for a lot more in this one today. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. The center fielder, number 16, Andrew Benintendi. First pitch on its way. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the game's first pitch is taken for bowl one. Well, guys, these Diamondbacks, as they begin play, fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Yeah, Maddie, this team has definitely been struggling recently, and then you get a look up right now, and you're going to face the ace. Somebody has to step up for this team. I'll tell you what, if they're able to score a few early runs off him, and put him on the defensive, this could be a huge momentum swing for this team. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A ball and two strikes now. The 1 2 is looked at for ball number two. And the curveball is swung on and missed. And a good pitch there results in a strikeout to begin the afternoon. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox exactly. line up in this one. Right Danny, any thoughts? Well, there aren't a lot of guys with the talent and determination of Dustin Pedroia. He's really excelled against right-handed pitching this season, hitting over 300 against them coming in. So given the matchup he's faced with here, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see him make some noise at the plate. So the base is empty here with one away and up next one of the terrific talents in the game Mookie Betts. First pitch of the at bat on its way. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. And set up behind the dish is Eric Summersgill as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. You know what Dan I'm always baffled when Eric Summersgill's behind the dish because he has a tendency to favor one side of the plate. You know that's one of the things I think pitchers get a little bit frustrated with the E train at time. It's like hey you're going to give me that inside quarter give it to me but don't keep moving the dish around on me all game. And a step that on first hurt. himself for the out. First pitch of the at bat. Hold a strike on the outer half. 0 and 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Rounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Misses, ball two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Red Sox go down one, two, three. And now the Diamondbacks will get their first turn at it. No score. Chris Sale will be the starter for the Bo Sox in this contest. What's your take on him, Dan? 
Boy, this guy was unbelievably good in this last one. Struck out a ton of guys in an amazing performance, and all of his pitches were working. Let's hope he brings that A game back with him in this one. So striding in, Patel Marte. He'll lead things off here in the Leading bottom half of the first. The, time back. the center fielder, Patel. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Slider gets the outside. That's a strike. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, without question. We, they find themselves in this position today. They got a chance to sweep the series on Sunday and make it a miraculous weekend. Boy, Dior, that's always a nice way to finish off a weekend. You win a big game on Saturday, and to close it off with a win here and a sweep on Sunday would really be sweet for this ball club. Lifetime against Chris Sale. He's just one for six. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Hey, I get it. You're all in fastball. You're pulling the trigger at almost anything. But that is way too high. He's going to have to lower his sights. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The next one two pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Giving chase is Benintendi. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. With that, Diamond let's second. take a look at the hometown the Diamondbacks baseman. lineup card. Who are you focused on, Dan? Please ask. Good well, Matty, I'm excited to watch David Peralta play. This guy was one of three silver sluggers in the National League for outfielders. He can flat out rake. You get in that category, only three guys of all the outfielders in that league, that's pretty impressive. Eduardo Escobar standing in, and he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. That's the and that's taken high and outside for bull one. one. And 2 and 0 oh now as this misses below the knees. Strike called, 2 and 1. You get yourself into count leverage 2 0 -oh right there. You're looking to come unglued on something and be very aggressive. That ball had to nip the corner for him not to pull the trigger on it. Off speed pitch misses here and he runs it to 3 and 1. David Peralta is on deck. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled away. Three two pitch. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one out walk here in the home front. That is good. The left fielder. David. Now to the plate, David oh, Peralta. Oh, He's two for seven in the series so far. First offering on its way. And it's fouled away. Escobar stands at first with one out. liner to center field. Benintendi is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Batting fourth. The second baseman. Wilmer. Flores. So now it will be the four hole hitter Wilmer Flores as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Sale sets first pitch on its way and he lays off there one and oh two balls and no strikes he's having a really hard time finding his rhythm and finding the strike zone it's going to allow this offense to keyhole him in big situations he's got to figure it out pretty quick. Now the 2-0 home. 
finds the zone strike one. Well clearly this guy doesn't need many warm up pitches because he's 98 miles an hour in the first inning. News flash to the offense they better get it going. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes and that will retire the side. One left for Arizona. We are still scoreless. J.D. Martinez and it's been a big series for him with that he's collected eight hits already Martinez first delivery to him on the way and a ball diving into the dirt a swing and a miss well today's game provides the visiting squad with a chance to complete the series sweep guys. These teams don't match up all that often, but due to interleague, they get a chance to play this season, and it's really difficult to sweep a team in a three-game series when you don't play that team all that often. Ball. Two and one. Three balls, one strike. Three and one to Martinez. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3 1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. Hard hit towards center. Marte patrolling center makes the play one out. Okay, here's how the snakes are lining up defensively. And let's focus our attention on shortstop Nick Ahmed. Defense is this guy's calling card. One of the slickest defenders in our game. Super sure handed and doesn't get enough love on the defensive side of the ball. Here's Steve Pierce now and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. First pitch on its way. Fastball taken but that gets the zone for a strike. Behind 0 and 2 now. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And he fouls this one off. That was swing and a miss. He struck him out. And it's two up, two down to start the second. Every pitcher looks to get off to a good start. And I'd say he's off to a good start. How about the first five batters he's faced? Three of them he sent down via the strikeout. Stepping into the box, Dustin Pedroia. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Here comes the first pitch. Yeah. That one catches the edge of the zone called the strike. And Pedroia behind Owen two now. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And here's Flores to make the catch, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Red Sox. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score.
Now in the box, Steven Souza. In eight at bats in the nine series, nine he's collected three hits. The right fielder, Steven Souza. First Junior. pitch on its way. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Not a bad take there on that first pitch. Not a real good idea to go up there looking for a changeup to hit. Sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Pretty unusual that you see a 5 hole hitter take two strikes in a row. Typically, those are some of the most aggressive batters in the lineup. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. One ball. That misses 1 and 2. I think you could have an argument for that first pitch that it could have been off the plate, but there was certainly no debate with that one. That missed by a ton. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. All right, let's take a quick look at how the Red Sox set up on D today. And guys, this Not starting pitcher stuff. right here is in the top five in the league in strikeouts. And what does that tell me? That tells me that his defense cannot fall asleep in this one. They better go through their pre-pitch routine. They better stay on their toes and stay engaged in this one in case something finds a barrel. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that means that Nick Ahmed will be the next to bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 0 and 1 the count. Bottom of the second here with no score. Aye. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Yeah, nothing better, huh, guys? I guess maybe the crack of the bat, but I'm not as partial to that as most people. He looks good and loose out there to start this one. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He that looks really seven. sharp out the there, guys. Walker. Standing in, Christian Walker will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. First pitch of the at bat. And a layoff fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1 0. One ball and one strike to the Diamondbacks' first baseman. Two out, nobody on. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Martinez has a read on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So one, two, three, go the Diamondbacks. We'll move to the third with no score. Here's Brock Holt now. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. First offering on its way. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. The wind up and the 0 1. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's 1 and 1. A bouncer up the middle. Ahmed to his left. He's got it. And the throw here is in time. Very nicely done there at short for the first out. The catcher. So one away here with the bases empty and from the on deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. And that's off his leg on the mound. Thankfully he's able to recover and he gets the second out at first. And with that play over now time to check and see if our man is all right. 
you can really see him favoring that leg and that is his plant leg which is always a concern but from the way he's acting out there I think it looks like he's going to be OK to try and continue. Now to the plate is the Red Sox pitcher Chris Sale and then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now feels like we're seeing a lot of three up three down innings. No doubt about that Matt. Hey I've enjoyed watching him go about his business but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah that remains to be seen. Here's the first pitch to him. And he gets ahead here with the fastball strike one. He looks really strong here early in this game and that fastball is a good example. Put that thing in a great spot and right where he wanted it. Fouled off. Just a touch outside one and two. Well, this is where you have to be really aggressive one and two count on an American League pitcher that rarely bats go right after him. Third inning no score to this point. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Red Sox go down one two three home half of the third coming up no score. Here's the catcher Alex Avila leading up for the Diamondback. The catcher Alex Avila. First pitch coming here it is. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. Hey, nice adjustment right there for him to get on top of that baseball and drive it to the corner. The first pitch he obviously tried to overthrow, got under it, and it sailed on him a little bit. Two balls and a strike. Hit sharply on the ground. Played on the backhand. Throw by Pedroia be in time, and there's your first out. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Luke Weaver. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here comes the first pitch. Nope. First pitch is a slider down low. It's one and all. Well, that's a great take there right there on that slider down and in. That's one of the toughest pitches to lay off of as a hitter. That hard breaking ball coming down and in at the back foot. A tough take on a good pitch. A ball and a strike now. And a ball and two strikes to the Diamondbacks pitcher. Pretty late with the swing there. As a pitcher, you have to recognize that and keep coming in with the hard stuff until he proves he can hit it. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Well, you know, AL pitchers must love pitching in NL ballparks That's because better all of a sudden they're only four. facing eight legitimate hitters in the lineup instead of nine. Kind of makes you wonder why any free agent pitcher would ever decide to pitch in the AL, doesn't it? In now, Cattell Marte. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. His guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. One and one to the D backs leadoff man. Ah. 
And that's on the outside corner one and two. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball and then he locked him up with a changeup. Here comes the one two from sale to third. On to Pierce at first and the inning is over. Diamondbacks down in order. We'll head to the fourth still scoreless. Digging in to try it again. Andrew Benintendi back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Line toward the gap in left center. And there's the first hit of the game for the Red Sox. There's a lot of moving parts in some guys swings. It usually now takes them a month or so to get it ironed out. Okay. Here's Mookie Betts as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. The 1-1 one, one. takes this the other way to right and that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey two runners on after back to back singles right there. They are in prime position to put the first run on the board right here. Here's Xander Bogarts now as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Gets the fastball by him here and he's in control 0 and 2. Bogarts. A six foot one inch right handed swinger and thrower. He's a veteran of seven years at the major league level. Working for the punch out and the offering and a change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it he probably gets some pretty weak contact if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part thinking it might be coming again. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. Grounded back up the middle. Ahmed fields it cleanly. On to first. The double play. Not what you expect from your three hole hitter when the first two guys get on base. That's pretty deflating. But now we'll see if the cleanup guy can still pick up the runner at third. Stepping in now, J.D. Martinez. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. This guy's been on cruise control as we head into the middle innings of this one. And one of the big factors why, how about 80% of his first pitches have been for strikes. The 0-1 offering. 1-1. One one. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, 2-1. and one. And he lays off again, ball three. Time for him to attack on the mound. He knows this team's struggling offensively. Don't mess around and try and nibble. Just be on the attack and let them beat you. 
And the cutter can't find the zone as he surrenders the base on balls here. Yeah, the guy's been on fire lately, hitting anything close. So I think this is the way to go here. Get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. Now with the plate, Steve Pierce and their runners at the corners now. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Oh, he just ramps up and gears the fastball by him, 0 and 2. In today's game, if you're not disciplined for striking out, why would you change your approach with two strikes right here? Expect this guy to try and drive the baseball right here. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Boston strands a couple. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Ready for another chance? Eduardo Escobar. Leading He's headless in the, the first two games back. of the series. No 0 for 8. This game is rolling Eduardo. right along as we move into the middle Escobar. innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. The windup and the 0-1. Soft liner towards short. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. The now so at the plate, field. David Peralta Ten comes three. into this at bat 0 for 1 oh, in the ballgame. Oh First offering on its way. There's a strike at the knees, 0 and 1. Diamondback still searching for that first hit of the ballgame. A count of one ball, one strike to David Peralta. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Three and one to the Diamondbacks left fielder. Slap hard the opposite way, but pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. To the diamond back. The second baseman, Wilmer Flores. So here's the cleanup hitter, Wilmer Flores, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. First pitch of the at bat. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. The bases are empty here with two men out. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. He'll get it into second. When it left his bat, I thought it might squirt foul, but it hugged the line and found its way well, into the corner. So it right might field. be a little bit closer playing second, but he cruised Junior. in there with relative ease. Junior. Standing in now, Steven Souza as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 1. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the 0 and 1. Hopped into the air, back behind second. Pedroia waits on it, and that ends the inning. Danger averted following the two out double. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. 
Well, Matt, I talked with manager Alex Cora during the break about his thoughts on the Red Sox hitters to this point. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. A lot of their outs have come from weak contact and strikeouts as a result of chasing pitches outside the strike zone. He said it's going to be extremely important for them going forward to be more selective with their swings and force the opposition to throw more strikes. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Leading off for the Red Sox. The Here's the second baseman, baseman now, Dustin, Dustin Pedroia. He's in to get things Pedroia. going here in inning number five. Here's the pitch. And he'll start ball the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Off speed pitch just missed inside. Two balls and a strike. And it's two balls two and two strikes two now. Strikes. Plain to see right there that the manager's sticking up for his hitter, making sure that that strike zone gets a little bit tighter. It's tough to cover both sides of the plate, and they both want that strike zone to be shrinked up a little bit. The 2-2. Two -two. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Peralta going back. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo home run off the bat of Dustin Pedroia. First home run of the campaign for him. As the Red Sox get the game's first run, it's one to nothing. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, is not the end of the world. Now batting. Into the box now. Brock, Brock Holt. Holt. As he'll take one on the inside corner at the knees, it's strike one. Holt, sometimes referred to as the Brock Star, he was a ninth round pick back in the 2009 MLB draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Well, those were a couple of close pitches right there in the inner part of the zone. Hitters will tell you, pitches in that location are tough to do anything with. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. The one two. Misses, ball two. One run on three hits and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Popped him up. Ahmed is calling for it. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. Now that that's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up of the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. In now, Christian Vasquez. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. 
the pitcher. Number so here now is the pitcher, Chris Sale. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. And that swung on and missed for strike one. One and one to the Boston pitcher. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. Hey, I got to commend him a little bit. Lead off homer, and now he's one pitch away from getting out of this inning without any further damage. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. And a half hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Red Sox strike for a run thanks to the Dustin Pedroia blast. Middle of the afternoon here in Phoenix, and it's 1 0 Boston. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Tori Lavello about the Diamondbacks' offensive production, and he told me he'd like to see a lot more aggressiveness in their at bats the rest of the game. He said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often, which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at bats where they've fallen behind, so the focus going forward needs to be about being the aggressor early in the at bats. Go for the Thank you, Heidi. Coming That's to the plate stop. now, Nick Amick. He leads off in the bottom oh, of the fifth man. as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. Well, that's a tough pitch to take right there, right down the middle. But I think that happens when you're facing a good pitcher like this guy. The last thing you're expecting is one right down the pipe. And unfortunately, he let that one go. And he'd like to have that pitch back to take a good swing at that one. Well, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long. So it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. And now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. There to take it in is Bogarts, and that's the first out. Now batting. There's our the line score base through base. the first four and a half, right and these guys have basically had the Walker. bats taken right out of their hands. Just one hit to this point. Digging in for his second at bat, Christian Walker. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Didn't quite catch the zone there, ball one. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. No runs, just one hit. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. Too high, and that cost him ball four. Next for the diamond bat. The catcher, Alex. Into the box now, oh, Alex wrong. Avila. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, how do you expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here? The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll through. Pitch on its way to Avila. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Oh, 
A ball and a strike. Walker, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Oh. And there's ball two now. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. The 2 1 home waves and misses for strike number two. In a double play situation, that's the location you want a guy to swing at. More than likely, he's going to beat it into the ground. And he'll snap one over to oh, first. And he'll dive back in safely. Runners on first with one down. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Wow, this guy's mowing right through this lineup right now, but that's what happens when you don't get a chance to see a pitcher very often. That's one of the things that are helpful when you're pitching in interleague games. It's always a good advantage for the pitcher because the hitters don't get to see that guy very often. Stepping in now, Luke Weaver. As Sale will get the upper hand to start the at-bat here at strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now the 0-1. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. On oh, a good changeup, a swing and a miss, and he's set down on strikes for the second time today. One left for the Diamondbacks. They're on the short end of a one-to-nothing score. Digging in and looking for more, Andrew Moving Benintendi. Off, He's one for two in the, the ball game. Field, number 16, Andrew. First Benintendi. pitch on its way. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. -oh. Back up the middle and a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept now his hands inside the baseball, field. and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher yeah. right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. At the plate, Mookie Betts, leadoff man on base, and we'll see what they have in mind strategy wise here. He's set. Here it comes. Nope. First pitch is a breaking ball taken down and away for ball one. A runner at first with no outs here. And this one gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. I think this all stems from the fact that they're trying to make sure the guy at the plate doesn't hurt them at all. And with that base open at first, they might opt to just put him on. Three oh, and oh now. I got three and oh.
A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. In the air after straightaway left. Peralta is under it. One away. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. The bottom, number two, ready once again. Xander Bogarts. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nope. Ball one. And he takes ball one. Ball one no Boy, that was an awfully close pitch right there. I know if I'm on the mound, I want that pitch called a strike. That's one of those that could go either way. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. And that's in there for his strike one and one. One out and a runner on second base. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Souza is after it. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Digging in once again. J.D. Martinez. It was a walk in his last trip. And there's the fourth wide one. So he's aboard on the intentional walk. Well, they felt it was better to take the bat out of the hands of a guy like that. He's just too dangerous, and they decided they'll take their chances with the next guy in the lineup. Stepping up now, Steve Pierce. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Benintendi over at second. Martinez at first, two out in the inning. In the dirt, and now let's see. Throw over to third here. The tag's there, and he's out trying to steal third. Great throw. Red Sox leave one. They lead it one to nothing. Back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Patel Marte to start Four things out in their back. half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here Touchdown. for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. First pitch coming. Here it is. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Popped him up. Holt in foul ground. Makes the play one away. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch now, off of the zone. The they took him off the ladder, and he Marco. couldn't get up to it. So that was an Jamal. easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. So digging in now, Eduardo Escobar. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch on its way. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. You take a look at the numbers now up to this point. You see he's only given up two hits so far today, so he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact going forward, but I'm not betting against him. So a runner at first now with one away, and up next, the outfielder, David Peralta. First pitch of the at bat. And that's by him. It's 0 1. And this is high, a ball and a strike. 
These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitch to it either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. Runner at first here, one man out. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. Here comes the one two from Sale. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out the front and rip it down the line, but Will that Burr. wasn't a great pitch to do it on. Right. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Into the box, Wilmer Flores, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and zero. Oh. Now the one zero -oh is laid off no, no. for ball two. Two out with the man at first. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. Here it is, the three zero, -oh. and now a pitch hit sharply on the ground, but this is foul. A runner on first with two away. Now we'll snap one off over to the bag, and he'll dive back in. Sale sets. Here it is on three and one. Can't keep that one fair either. And now the count is full. Full count with two outs now. So if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the run at first will be in motion. Martinez coming on. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. One left for Arizona. They trail this one one to nothing. Welcome back to Chase Field here in Phoenix. Red Sox on top in this one as we get set for the seventh. But first, here's a look at our game summary to this point. Greg Holland is on to pitch from the now bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 56. Greg Holland. Now batting, Steve Pierce. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Here. From the stretch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Holland, a 5'10 right hander. He's currently on a one year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. 2 0 now. The 2 0 on the way is in there for strike one. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. 
Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Full count, three and two. Three, two pitch. Here's a ground ball for Ahmed at short. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Justin Pedroia will stand in again as we take you back to earlier in the ball game. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. Here's the first pitch to him. In there for strike one. To me, getting ahead 0-1, it, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. I, it puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1-0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1-1. When you're down 0-1, your head's on a swivel. Behind 0-2 now. Set to deliver on nothing and two. Here it comes. To Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two. Hit softly on the ground to third. Throw on to first. He'll take care of Pedroia, and there are two away. Now that stepping in the Brock Brock Holt. Holt. It was a Brock. fly out for him in his Holt. last trip. Here comes the first pitch and who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Here it comes. Oh. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. The one one misses for the second ball. Now the two one pitch to short. Throw to first in plenty of time, and his side is retired. Down in order go the Red Sox, but they're up one to nothing. Now at the plate, Steven Souza, and he'll step in to start things out against Chris Sale. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base. Hit high and deep is straight away right field. Back goes Betts. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A solo home run there for Steven Souza. First home run of the campaign for him. And the Diamondbacks strike here to make it a 1-1 ball game. And some guys just have a knack for the dramatic. He comes up in a big spot and just cranks one out of here to even the score. Not a bad time to hit your first homer of the year, huh? Into the box now, Nick Ahmed. Hit high and deep to right center. Ben Intendi in pursuit. But it's over his head and it pops the wall for a ground rule double. Hey, there's a hard hit ball that's going to be down for extra bases. The ball had some spring on it, and it bounced over the wall, and the ground rule double puts him on second base without having to leg it out. In now, Christian Walker hit hard down the line, and he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. 
throw to second, but he's in there. As a run is also in, and with it, they take the lead. Up next to the diamond back. Dan, you'll take RBIs any way you can get them, but when they give your team the lead in the late innings, man, that feels good. Oh, it is special, guys, especially when you start to score runs late in the game pitching when runs are at a premium that's one that makes you feel really good about yourself now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here Ladies Brandon Workman comes on now please. and he'll take over with he nobody out in Boston. inning number seven now pitching and batting in the seventh spot number 44 Brandon Workman now playing third base and batting none. Number 11, Raphael Devon. Stepping in now, Alex Avila as he'll take a look at ball one. Looking at his career totals, Avila is a batting line residing in the 230s. You know, Matty, I know his career batting average jumps off at the page, but this guy can help a roster in a lot of different ways. He brings value to the manager on a daily basis. Count now a ball and a strike. Walker stands at second with no outs. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Two ball, two strike count to the Diamondbacks catcher. Here now the 2 2. Line drive to center field. Benintendi is there and he has it for the first out. The pitcher, the first pitcher. Red. Jake Lamb please. will get a chance with the this runner in scoring position here as he'll pinch Number hit now 22. with one away. Jay. Yeah. And oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. This is pulled into right. Betts back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Back to the top spot in the Arizona lineup now and stepping in. Cattell Marte. Been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Trying to keep the deficit right where it is, the pitch. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Come set. The 0 1. That's a ball. And he takes this one high. 1 and 1. Oh, one strike. Two outs here with a runner at third. Hey. A ball and two strikes now. Hey. 
ground ball sent back up the middle. And that is in the center field as he comes through. It's a base hit. And that will score the runner from third as they'll open up a 3-1 to one lead. Well, they already had the lead, but that extra run makes a huge difference. Even if it's only psychological, the pitcher knows when he steps out there that he has a little bit of wiggle room to work with. Digging in, Eduardo Escobar. Last time through was a base hit. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Swing and a liner. And that is down as that could be two bases. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. And he obviously didn't let last night's hit this out and get to his head too much because that's his second hit of the ball game. This one a double. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now. Matt Barnes comes on now looking for the final out of the inning to strand the two runners in scoring position. Matt Barnes. David Peralta will be his first assignment as he steps in with two men in scoring position now, but also two away. First pitch on its way. A ball and no strikes. Three runs already home here. In there, one and one. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. The set and the one one. The ball and two strikes. Ball two. two, two Runners at second and third with two gone. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. So they strike for three runs on five hits, no errors, and a couple of men left on. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Diamondbacks three and the Red Sox one. Andrew Chafin has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Riding in for Boston, Christian Vasquez. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0 and 1. Now here's the pitch turned on down the line but this will get foul for strike two. He's ready here's the 0 2 pitch high fly ball out to straightaway center Marte is in his tracks now and he's got it for the first down. Rafael Devers the next to bat and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. He's set and the pitch. Here's a fly ball well hit after it is Souza. He makes the play really had to hustle to get to that one two gone now. The center fielder number 15. So the lineup flips over and digging in Andrew Benintendi. He's two for three thus far.
First delivery to him on the way. And that misses ball one. Now the 1 0 is looked at off the plate for a ball. Two and one now to the Boston leadoff hitter. The two one. Right side, but it's well foul. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. Three to one our score. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Souza going back to the track. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They still trail it here three to one. Tyler Thornburg is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 47, Tyler Thornburg. So here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, Wilmer Flores. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. Now the pitch. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. The Bo Sox entered the day looking to wrap up a big series sweep, but it's going to take some late game heroics in order to make that a reality. Never easy to sweep any team, but this is a close one, and there's an old saying in baseball, a bloop and a blast, and if they can stay close, get a base hit, get somebody to hit one out of the ballpark, they're not out of this one yet. Two balls and a strike now. Now the 2-1. Smoked on the ground left side and that's a base hit so a chance for some important insurance here to kick off the bottom of the eighth. Heck of a job by the batter right there. You would have thought he bought himself well, a bad. fastball. Right but gets an off speed pitch Be doesn't try and do too much Be and drives it for a base Be hit. Be Standing in now, Steven Souza, as he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Now the 1 0, grounded up the first baseline. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Oh, they'll run this one in on him and he can't connect, so he finds himself down 1 and 2 now. Oh, man. He just tied him up in knots right there. Fastball laid off well below the knees. The 2 2. He stays alive, still two and two. Here now the two two. Hit softly on the ground to first. To second for one, but no real shot at two as he's safe easily at first. Ryan Brazier enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning.
Nick Ahmed will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. First pitch of the at bat. Hey. Took a little off and it's in for a called strike one. Hey. Fastball called for strike two. Souza, base runner at first with one out. And he got him. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was oh, excellent because if it's put in play, the there's a good chance base. it's on the ground for a double yeah. play. And hey, a strikeout always Walker. works too. Into the box now, Christian Walker. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, one and zero. Oh. A hit and two tries for him so far. The 1 0 home. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Back to back breaking balls. He just missed that one right there, fouling it away. Do not expect a third. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. One and two pitch lofted in the air out to right field. Betts has a read on it and the inning is over. One left for the Diamondbacks as the lead remains three to one. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Archie Bradley please. comes on from the, the pen hoping to finish this Arizona. one off here in the top now of the ninth and batting in the sixth spot number 25 Archie Bradley now playing shortstop and batting nine. coming to the plate now he bets head to head numbers against Archie Bradley he's a 333 hitter first pitch of the at bat on its way ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. This is the big out to get right here. This is their best hitter. He's a great hitter, and he's a guy that kind of spark plug. He gets this team going. So if I'm on the mound right now, you really want to try to get this guy out to hopefully keep them from getting a potential big inning started. Locastro is there. One quick out to start inning number nine. Digging in, Xander Bogarts. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a fastball's in there for strike one. One out, nobody on. Ball one. Now a fastball that's one taken one. close that time, but it's one and one. Fouled away. He swings at the fastball here and lifts it into the air to shallow center. Locastro ranges back and he has it for out number two. Now that boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. In now, J.D. Martinez. Now a swing and he pops him up and this should do it. He's got it and the Diamondbacks have put an end to their four game slide as this ball game is over. Well baseball is a game of streaks and runs so a four game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic or press. They just came out here 
played their game and put the losing streak behind them like professionals are supposed to do. Well done. Three to one the final score this afternoon. Arizona jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Greg Holland claims the win out of the pen his first. Archie Bradley earns the save out of the bullpen his fourth of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.